But yeah, um, somebody asked me this question about if I also name my Impact Mount Rushmore, who would be So is it. this a TNA slash Impact Wrestling Mount Rushmore? Yeah. Uh, I mean, okay. this company is still, it's TNA. It's, ever, it's always going to be known as TNA. You can't, you can't say Impact Wrestling and just forget about TNA because the company yeah. was TNA. Um, and it was hard. It was, it was hard because my, I, I picked my original four and then, I kind of switched it, but I didn't. So my original four was Asia. Cause, okay, so this is the thing. When I'm picking my Mount Rushmore, I'm not gonna pick people who made them name made their names somewhere else. So with that being said, Jeff Jarrett, even though he created a company with his own money and probably should be in the Mount Rushmore, um, I'm not gonna pick him because yeah. he made in another company he didn't make himself at tna you know what i'm saying he was already a superstar in wwe and wcw and then yeah. create but he should be oh, i mean obviously he should be number one because without him it wouldn't be a tna right. uh, but that was for me my standpoint was i'm not gonna pick anybody that made the name outside of tna so that removed okay. oh man i'm so curious who's on this yeah, that removes jeff Jarrett. that removes kurt angle oh. It moves Jeff Hardy, they, Matt Hardy. Hardy, all the Hardy. So I was going to only name guys who made themselves in TNA. Okay. That removed Joe, um, Samoa Joe as well, because Samoa Joe made his name in Ring of Honor. And when he signed the TNA, that's when it was a big deal that TNA signed this guy, Samoa Joe. So he didn't make my... Oh, wow. Okay. So my four is AJ Styles. Of course. Gail Kim, mm -hmm. Eric Young, uh huh, Raven. Oh, wow. And if I could pick a fifth person, which probably should be the first person who would be in the Mount Rushmore, would be Abyss. Because oh Abyss yeah, Abyss. what about Daniels? And, uh, and that's an that's another thing. That's a hard one too. Daniel should one hundred percent be in it. Like <laughs> Kazarian should be one hundred percent be in it. But it's like Bobby Roode, EC three, all these guys. <laughs> but for me, if you're looking at accomplishments, um, you have to put EY because he's like the Shawn Michaels of TNA. He's literally won every single title yeah. in the history. So you have to put him in there, right? Yeah. Uh, Chris Saban, same thing. He's literally won every single title in the company's history and also has won the X Division title more than anybody in the company's history. So you have to put him in there too, right? If you're talking about accomplishments. Um, and crazy and to think, Christopher Daniels never had the world championship in Impact Wrestling. The, and, that's, and that's what I thought about. I was like, man, Chris, Christopher Daniels with all the epic matches he had with AJ Styles, but if you talk about accomplishments, he never he won the. Put, he was putting title. so many people over, though. Right, he never won the world title, though. So that's the thing. Um, same thing. I mean, Bobby Roode. Like Bobby Roode had was a great tag team wrestler. Won a lot of won the tag team championships a few times, but never won the exhibition championship. Um, like, um, and then he didn't have a really long run as the guy at TNA. He did, but he didn't. Hey, it's Chris, and thank you so much for checking out this video on my brand new YouTube channel, CVV Clips. As the name suggests, it's a place where I'm gonna post clips from some of my favorite interviews. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit subscribe and also check out these videos right here. YouTube thinks you might like them.